There is a belief that bisexuality doesn't exist, and anybody who thinks that they are bisexual is just wrong. I only want to make this video once, but yeah, bisexuality exists, I am bisexual, and maybe instead of denying the existence of something people experience, you could just listen to the people experiencing the thing and learn from them? The idea that if you don't personally experience something then it must not exist is so limited a worldview that I literally cannot find the words to describe it without insulting babies. Babies have done nothing wrong here. They're adorable. The word bisexual was first used in the modern sense by a neurologist in 1892. If you look through history, you can find examples of people who were bisexual, from Alexander the Great to Billie Holiday. We're everywhere. We've just always been here, in the world, existing. Also, I'm a bisexual person that exists, and I know other people who are bisexual who also exist, and our experiences may differ from yours, but they're still valid. It just seems statistically unlikely that all of us are wrong. The failing pedagogy that bisexuality doesn't exist is something that is fueled by and feeds into bisexual erasure. It's a cycle that's systematic, because according to this idea, the reason that there isn't bisexual representation in media is that bisexuality doesn't exist. But this idea also ignores bisexuality when it does appear in popular media because bisexuality doesn't exist, and even when you do get bisexual characters in media, they don't call it bisexuality. They're just not into labels or exploring their sexuality, which are both things that are okay. But sometimes it's nice to just have explicitly bisexual characters. Because if you want diversity and you want to give people representation, then you should put it in the media you're creating and not just put it in the press releases. That's a different thing that I'm mad about. The ideology that states that I don't exist, or at the very least my orientation doesn't exist, is something that ignores the experiences of myself and of people, and it's just peak erasure. And this is a problem that exists within the LGBT community too, so that stinks. Because people who are fighting for inclusion shouldn't be systematically excluding other people who have shared experiences with them because they are not the same one. But why are people so dedicated in their attempt to deny the existence of bisexuality? Why put so much energy into eliminating something that doesn't seem to impact you? Why put so much effort into denying the existence of something at all. If it doesn't exist, why do you need to deny it? Why do you need to deny it? Why even put so much effort into the denial of something as if a disbelief in something ends the thing itself? Look, it didn't work when I tried to disbelieve gravity in an attempt to fly after watching Peter Pan, so I don't know how your disbelief in this leads to other people not experiencing it. According to activist and writer Sherry Eisner, society routinely tries to deny subversive ideas out of existence. The attempt to eliminate bisexuality's existence is an attempt to eliminate the subversive potential that it holds. In my experience, things that are subversive have power because they disrupt our institutions. So we must ask, what institution, what system of authority are we disrupting? What do we challenge by claiming who we are? And why do our institutions rely on the denial of my existence? And I don't know, maybe we should be claiming the power we have to change those systems because they obviously aren't working if they routinely deny the existence of minority groups. Bisexuality exists. People who are bisexual exist. We are real and valid and in my experience there is a strong correlation between being bi and being awesome. Correlation does not cause causation, I'm just saying. We awesome. And people who claim bisexuality doesn't exist are liars, either because someone lied to them and they believed it, or because they are intentionally spreading misinformation. Either way, they're wrong, and they're lying, and please kindly direct them to the truth. Okay, I'm going to go back to questioning my existence as, like, a person in the universe instead of listening to other people question my own orientation. If you want to see more from me, you can subscribe, watch another video of mine, or support me on Patreon. And hey, I love you.